You're looking at questions 73 through 75 of the New York State Chemistry Regions exam, June 2015. Try to answer the questions on your own and come back for answers and explanations. Let's take a look. In this case, the reading passage has some information that directly pertains to the questions. 73. State the evidence that indicates the proportions of the components in rubbing alcohol can vary. Well, you're told that right in the second sentence here. That rubbing alcohol is available in concentrations of 70% and 91%. There's your answer. Question 74. It says identify the property of the components that makes it possible to use distillation to separate 2-propanol from water. Well, 2-propanol and water are both liquids. Distillation, you need to remember, is when I have a mixture of liquids, it, they will be separated by boiling point. So it's just a fact. So whether it's 2-propanol and water or two other liquids, it doesn't matter, three other liquids, distillation separates out substances by boiling point. Let's take a look at 75. Determine the maximum volume of 2-propanol in the 132 milliliter sample. Well, in that 132 milliliter sample, the information from the reading passage is you're dealing with the 91% 2-propanol. So, what do you need? You need some sort of mathematical formula. Reference table T has them all. I've already circled it. The percent composition equation. So I'm going to go back, and we're going to just do percent is equal to the part over the whole thing times 100. Okay, so what am I looking at here? Well, this is 91% alcohol in water. And we want to know the volume of 2-propanol in 132 mils. So that's my X. I'm looking for the milliliters of the 2-propanol. The whole thing is the 132 milliliters times 100. So now look what we have. We have a math problem now and not a chemistry problem anymore. So we need to get X alone. Well, how do we do that? Well, let's face it. We're going to divide both sides by 100. And we end up with 0.91 is equal to x times 132. Now to get x alone, I'm going to multiply both sides by 132. Sometimes kids go, oh, it's a proportion. Yeah, if I take 0.91, and there is a decimal here, right, over 1, I have x is equal to 0.91 times 132. When I plug it in my calculator, I'm going to get an answer of 120 mils. Please use your calculator for this. Take it step by step and pay close attention to what you're doing. Check out more videos and information on www.nychemcoach.com.